can can you explain to our viewers who are not uh, uh, familiar with the WSCT what is it and how is it uh, constructed? Yeah, absolutely. So um, WSCT, the Wine and Spirit Education Trust, is um, a non-profit organization that was founded in, in London back in the 1960s, if you can believe that, right? Um, so, wow. you know, I can, I, you know, we can see, I can see a world where I get to be there for the 100th anniversary of the WST, which would be, <laughs> which would be crazy. Um, and, and basically the, uh, the idea was created with the aim of providing education for the wine industry. Um, since then, it's expanded significantly and the WSET offers courses in wine and spirits, sake, and most recently beer as well. And as we were just discussing, the, um, the courses have been long open to people who are just curious to learn. Uh, I work for the WSET school, who are one of the many providers of courses. Um, you can study these courses uh, outside of the UK, lots of places, even wineries um, sometimes provide it. Uh, where did you where did you study? Your... In, Bucharest, in Bucharest, Romania. Oh, fantastic. Um, at, at a wine school or, or with with work or uh, what? How did you... It is a wine school called uh, Wine Book. Fantastic. Yeah. And, and so that, you know, you've got all of these these um, these wine schools all across the world um, where you can where you can study the levels. Um, and I suppose the best way to explain it is, is when I, I did my first qualification, I started with the level two in wines, um, and that was in 2018, 2017, 2018, somewhere around there. Um, and essentially the course was, uh, it was an evening course. I think it was eight evenings over the course of eight of two months. And you'd learn about how wine is made both in terms of the the grapes how the grapes are grown and how things like climate uh, soils aspects uh, etc impact the quality and the style of wine produced you spend some time in the winery talking about the various options that are available to winemakers and, and, and why they might choose to do malolactic conversion or or skin contact or something like that and how that changes the style um, and then you spend the, the bulk of the time talking about the different wine regions of the world and tasting wine from those places and that was the thing that i found the most useful is that tasting wine at the wset gave me a structure and a, a vocabulary with yeah. which i could assess wine assess its quality maybe sometimes try and guess where it's where it's come from uh, often with very little success i have to say um, but also uh, to a way to dis discuss my own preferences and and learn a bit more about my own palate and what i enjoy in a wine um, versus what i maybe sometimes don't enjoy in a wine for yeah. example um, I also have to say, actually, just speaking about you know blind tasting there. So one of the one of the other reasons I really I really wanted to start the wine swapping with Yellowtail Shiraz is it's a wine that I was once um, completely stumped with in a blind tasting, mm. um, and so this was just after lockdown, and, I, and my my friend runs a a, a wine tasting um, kind of company. And he sent various samples in these sort of small yeah. pouches, uh, and I was tasting them. And I, you know, I kind of tasted this one, and it was it was really ripe and, and rich, uh, and mm. extremely fruity. And I thought, right, it's, it comes from definitely a warm climate, and um, and and so it must be a Chateau Neuf de Pape, uh, clearly. And of course, <laughs> it wasn't. It was it was Yellowtail. It was Yellowtail Shiraz. Yeah. Um, and, and hindsight's, you know, 2020. And, and of course, if you, if you put that besides, a uh, maybe a Clos de Pape or, a, a you know, um, domain de le, uh, domain le vieux telegraph or something, you could clearly see that, yes, that's, it's, it's not the same caliber of wine, but, um, on its own, uh, when you're not thinking very hard, uh, <laughs> it, it stopped me. Um, so yeah, uh, as much as I studied wine blind tasting, as I'm sure it does for many people, uh, is, is still incredibly difficult. Of course, of course, it's very hard. It's interesting, you said that you started from level two. Actually, I didn't know that for the, I just found out this, that you can start from level two. When I started, 
I uh, so I was kind of postponing uh, starting WSET. I always wanted to do it, but I studied uh, winemaking and winery management at the university. So this is my profession. So uh, I was kind of uh, procrastinating with WSET. And when I decided to do it, I thought that you have to go through all the levels. I did the level one, obviously. It was like I already knew most of it. And at the end of the class, when we had the exam and everything, the, the teacher told us that uh, or in, in a conversation, he said that uh, actually you can also start from level two. So I was a little bit bothered by that because uh, can you start from any level or is it just for the level two? So you can start from level two on any level uh, without, with, without necessarily any, any kind of um, knowledge. Um, partic- and and I've, I've, for me as well, I knew a little bit about wine as well. I've been interested in it for a couple of years. So, you know, I read a couple of books and I kind of had some of the basics down. So I thought level two was a good place to start. Um, so, yeah, for anyone that's already a bit curious about wine, um, level two can be a good good starting point. Um, you can you can start with level three but you need to do a test to prove that you already have the level of knowledge um that level level three requires um because uh you know inevitably there are some people who are particularly keen uh, and want to jump straight into level three and then they they realize that it's quite a big jump um in terms of the commitment but also the the amount of content you have to cover and the number of wine regions you look at so there is a there is a a little bit more of a hurdle there um but yeah exactly so level two you can you can go in and that that's the case for for the other qualifications as well so like level two spirits for instance you can just jump you can just jump straight into that interesting Thanks for watching this video. You can watch the full podcast episode by clicking here or watch another interesting video by clicking here. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section and see you in the next one.